All right, shalom, good afternoon, Brother Randy here. Um, now, out here, tending to the sheep. I recently just now put uh, all my adult females in with the males, and as you can see, they're trying to get it on. And I think that a couple of them are pregnant, but I just wanted to move the adults over here with the uh, rams, and so they can uh, uh, get to doing what... what what sheep and uh, rams do, as you can clearly see, he's trying to get it on. But wanted to talk about uh, something that was on my mind. And uh, Truth Never Told did an excellent video regarding this idea that these billionaires are kicking around, and it is the idea that uh, universal income, uh, which basically means that the government will give every citizen um, XYZ amount of money to live on a monthly basis. Now, this is the chief problem that I have with uh, giving somebody free money. Uh, and this has had a devastating effect already on the population when it comes to men and when it comes to women. The problem is when you give somebody free money, uh, it, it takes away their desire to work. Now, we know that because of the sin of Adam, uh, men are required to work. Uh, we are required to work by the sweat of our own brow. And when you're in a situation when you have government giving men or giving women free money to live, you in essence emasculate or take away that man's ability to provide for his family because now you have a situation where government is providing for that man to provide for his family. Uh, there's all sorts of government programs out there that are uh, uh, giving men uh, free money. There's all sorts of government programs out there that are giving women free money. Uh, perfect example, even more so with the women. Let's say you have a woman that is getting uh, uh, Section 8 payments. Uh, uh, she's getting food stamps. And I know a lot of women back in the world that's in this, this situation are getting Section 8 payments so that they don't have to pay uh, their rent. Uh, government pays their rent. Uh, they're getting food stamps uh, to put in their freezer and uh, put food in their refrigerator. So government is providing that. Uh, government provided health care. Uh, they may be getting disability or Social Security checks for what have, whatever reason. Now, you got all of this money coming in for a woman. What real need does she have to submit or uh, need a man outside of just sex and entertainment? What, what 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 desire does she have to truly submit to a man if she doesn't need a man for nothing other than sex and entertainment? We have a problem in this society, especially with the African-American woman uh, or the so-called African-American woman in this society. Now, it is across the board uh, 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 when it comes to, you know, Latinos, Hispanics, whites, what what have you. It is a problem across the board. When a woman is being provided for government, she has no desire or no real uh, 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 obligation to submit to a man. When a woman can provide for herself, uh, she's not going to give up that power and that authority, and that control uh, over to a man uh, to submit to a man because government is her first love. Government is the entity that she is looking to, to provide all of her needs for. You see how the system is just totally out of order and is totally destroyed the minds of these women? She ain't going to submit to nobody because she don't need nobody other than sex and entertainment. The man. If you give a man uh, free government cheese on a monthly basis, what? kind of motivation do you think this man is going to have to get out there and work? He's not going to work. 
He, you, you're going to be looking at a lethargic, apathetic, complacent man that doesn't want to work and that complains about everything uh, uh, and is looking to government to solve all of his problems. This is what we have here. We have a society where the men have been emasculated and the women are running the show because they don't need no man. And everybody's dependent on government. Everything is out of order. Now, there's situations where, you know, in, in, in my personal opinion, government has done people so wrong through their wars, through their vaccines, uh, that, you know, sh hey, they, somebody should pay something. But there's a, a, a consequence. There's a, a, how can I say, a... Uh, repercussions as a result of that situation that I think personally does more harm than good. Destroys societies, destroys families. And one of the things that I always see uh, when there's problems in that structure is that the woman is out of her role and the man is out of his role. And when you have a woman out of her role, because, hey, she's getting money, so she don't need you. And so she can buck up and 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 leave at any time. And you have a man that, hey, listen here. He doesn't have to put his hand to the plow because he's giving getting free government cheese himself. How can a man truly feel like he's a man if he doesn't get up and work hard and provide for his family? How can a woman truly be covered by a man if she can buck up at any any point in time and don't need that man for nothing other than sex and entertainment? We're so out of order in this society. And this is just the way that these globalists want it. The destruction of the family unit. Because... The man is out of his role and the woman is out of her role. It's a damn shame. The only way we're going to get this right is if we get women back into their roles and men back into their roles. There's only going to be a few. This is the problem. I'm going to send a link to that truth never told video that he did on his uh, 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 analysis. Uh, the graphics were great. Uh, the, everything about the video was just spot on. Uh, uh, it's sad. It really is sad. But this is the society that we're in. Nah, I'm not depending on nobody for nothing. I believe in interdependence. I believe in my brother depending on me just as much as I'm depending on my brother. I believe in the ability of people to come together in one mind and one spirit and feeding and, and uplifting and building off of one another and being resources to one another, not tearing one another down, not smooching and gouging off of one another because you got them, them, them boot lickers out there that'll do that. They'll drain your ass dry for everything that they can get. These women, they'll do that shit too. They'll use you for every penny that they can get out of you. Because that's what they do. That's who they are. An entitlement mentality. Based on free government cheese. That's just what the situation is today. We got to go back to a more traditional situation. Or else we'll continue to see. The decline of this society. Hell no to free government cheese. All it does is destroy the family. Shalom.